Suppose we roll two fair six-sided dice. Let the random variable x be the sum of the two dice. For part A, we want to use a suitable method to represent the sample space. To do this, we can use a grid. So we can set up here the first die, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 as the outcomes across the first row. And down, we can write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is the outcome of the second dice. So what we want to do is we want to sum up the faces pointing up. So here we have 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, 1 plus 4 is 5, 1 plus 5 is 6, 1 plus 6 is 7. And we continue that through the table and we end up with a table looking like this. So part B asks us to hence determine the probability distribution for the discrete random variable x. So what we can do is we can set this up with all the possible outcomes, which are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And we can work out their associated probability in a table. So here's a table that we can use where the first row has all the possible outcomes, which we label as x and the second row is the probability associated with each of those outcomes. So if we consider the outcome where we roll two dice and the faces sum together to give a two, there's only one outcome out of a possible 36 that give that. So we have one divided by 36. For the outcome where we get two faces that add together to give three, there are two outcomes out of 36. So we have two out of 36. Then if we look at getting a 4, we have 1, 2, 3 outcomes out of 36. And if we continue that along, we can see that there are 4 outcomes out of 36, 5 outcomes out of 36, 6 outcomes out of 36, 5 outcomes out of 36, 4 outcomes out of 36, 3 outcomes out of 36, two outcomes out of 36. And finally, the last one we have is when the two numbers facing up sum together to give 12, there's only one outcome out of 36 for that. So now that we have our probability distribution in part B, we can use this to answer part C, which is to find the probability that X is greater than eight. So if we have the probability that X is greater than eight, that means that it is nine, 10, 11, or 12. So if we add up these probabilities, we find the probability that x is greater than 8. So we have 4 on 36 plus 3 on 36 plus 2 on 36 plus 1 on 36, which gives us 10 divided by 36. And if we simplify that down, that's 5 over 18. And if we look at our sample space, we can see that these outcomes are all the way down in this corner and the ones that I'm circling are 10 outcomes out of 36, which is the probability of rolling a sum greater than eight.